Hey, this is Robert Wasman. I'm your friendly neighborhood bud tender down here at the Kush Guide Marketplace, and I'm with Jordan from Swifts, and uh, we were just talking to him about like what he's doing down here. So. Let me ask you that question. What are you doing down here? Like, are you networking? You're just trying to get your name out? Are you bragging about the runner-up? Uh, well, for us personally, it's kind of at that point where everybody's seen samples from us. So we just show up to catch people in person. You know, we don't really have too many additional sales to make today, um, but you have to be here. You have to show up. You have to get in front of your people. It's also difficult because a lot of our buyers are really busy all the time. So sometimes it's just a phone call or an email, um, but to be able to see them in person, shake their hand, let them know that uh, you're still here for them, it's very important. Well, speaking of that, like, how does the cannabis community feel to you? Do you feel like it's pretty open and inclusive? Or do you think there's like some friendly competition, maybe even a little ribbing back and forth? Uh, I mean, there's always going to be just a little bit of competition, but at the same time, uh, we're all sitting here in the same boat. You know, we all realize that eventually you're going to have big pharma coming into it, and it's going to be us versus them. So it's kind of inevitable. We all got to be friends here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I can understand that. Speaking of that, you know, you're, you're a part of a brand new industry, never to be uh, seen before in the United States. How's that feel? Are you like trying to build something new or are you trying to take like what's good from corporate America and incorporate it into what we're doing now? Yeah, no, I mean, we're definitely pioneers in this sense. Um, it's new rules you have to play with uh, every week. Yeah. So we're trying to spearhead it as best we can. Um, but, but for us personally, it's, it's simple business. Um, you create a fair product, you charge a fair price for it, and you take care of your people. And at the end of the day, um, and that's what you got. <laughs> that's all you need. Man. So tell me a little bit about your product. I know you guys came in runner up for your apple crisp, man, which are delicious, by the way. Thank you. You know, and uh, what do you guys have anything else on the horizon or? Oh yeah, we always got some ideas. Yeah. But um, for us personally, it's it's just about taste and quality. Uh, there's a lot of guys out there producing edibles, um, so it's kind of difficult to stand out in that field. So for us, our visual appeal uh, gets the customer to at least interact with our product, and then uh, once they pop that box open. They taste a Swift, they know what they're getting. Oh yeah, and your branding is unmistakable. You know, you walk into a store, you're like, oh, there's the Swift. So where can people find you? Are there any uh, stores in the area here in Seattle? Yeah, we have stores everywhere. Uh, everywhere? Yeah, we, have, yeah we, we don't get to work with everybody. You know, you're not always gonna be right across the street from a store that you're already in. Uh, but geographically across the state, we have a little bit of outreach everywhere. Awesome, and where can people find you online, social media, stuff like that to look at your product? Uh, SwiftEdibles.com. Oh, perfect, man. Thank you for letting me edit you. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you.